think of luxury, I always think of that quote. To me, luxury translates to little to no compromises taken in selecting and sourcing materials. The application of techniques that may forego modernity and technological advancement to retain tradition. Presentation that features a high level of quality, detail, and thoughtfulness that bring delight to generations of owners day after day. Maybe my definition is outdated. Luxury today might mean something very different. To some, it might only represent items that feel unnecessary, devoid of usefulness and care from generations past. A kind viewer of my previous video asked how it is I travel and store fountain pens. Not a difficult question to answer, nor one that requires an entire video on the subject. It did inspire me to expand on my answer a little and talk about some of the stationery and accessories that I enjoy the most. There are items that I use almost every day and I have every intention of continuing until a useful life has expired. I am not a reviewer. I am no expert on leather or sewing or manufacturing at scale. I am an expert on how I feel when I touch these materials and finding the words to describe my experiences. Over the last few years, I've learned a few things about leather. I've learned enough to know I am not qualified to talk about it on a technical level. What I do know is the superior labor products feel different. They feel luxurious to me in that classic sense. Some of their items are rare or hard to obtain. That alone isn't what appeals to me. It's the quality and their approach to creation. Thoughtful, deliberate, restrained. The Superior Labor craft many products from wallets and bags to notebook covers, brass tools, camping supplies, and beyond. I haven't come across any of their leather products that weren't full grain, vegetable tanned leather. A fine example is this collaboration piece. I purchased this tote bag from one of my favorite shops on the planet, Nomado Store in Belgium. Charles and team are wonderful people who fulfill orders extremely fast worldwide. This bag holds a ton of stuff, is comfortable to carry on the shoulder or in the hand. The canvas is woven through a meticulous process that dates back to the Edo period. The best part to me is how it feels. One of my favorite things to do is simply run my hands along the bottom of the bag and feel the smoothness of the leather. It's thick and rich, supple and substantial. I've learned there are grades when it comes to zippers and teeth. When you think about how many times you'll fiddle with it over years, you really come to appreciate a zipper that glides smoothly and never sticks. This bag is highly functional, durable, and repairable should that ever be required. Another piece from Nomado Store is the Superior Labor Traveler's Note Cover. Handmade in Japan from grained Italian leather, a type of leather that softens from handling over time. Room for a few Traveler's Company passport size inserts, cards, receipts, bills, and a pen. This is a great piece when a single small notebook slid into a jacket or back pocket is all that's required. It is my jotter. These two pen and wallet cases are collaborative pieces with Wonder Pens in Toronto. One in black, the other in nude leather. What I appreciate most about these cases are the narrow profile and the separators that prevent the pens from rubbing up against each other. Wonder Pens describe them as a minimalist sort of case with pen people in mind. I love the way they smell and also the sound they make. It reminds me of a baseball glove I had when I was 12 years old. 
The leather zip case is a touch shorter but opens much wider. It features Valdarno Italian oil leather. You can see it has a prominent pebbling and a shiny texture. It'll be interesting to see how this one changes over time. I read an article from Baumkuchen featuring illustrator and author Steve Light, who houses a watercolor set in this very same case. It was distressed and stained from paint. I absolutely loved it. I'm enamored with items that withstand the rigors of use over time. Goods that haven't been babied or sheltered from their intended purpose. The leather pouch and leather utility case are two such items. In this season of my life, one of my goals is to use all of the things I've collected and not be so precious with them. Gale and Leather is a family company based in Istanbul, Turkey, uncompromising in their approach to design. I find their products to be highly functional and beautiful, especially as they age. The Zipper Pen Pouch Forest Green. Distressed dark green color showing undertones of light green, sacramento, and emerald ages and softens quicker compared to regular leather. Suede feeling finish. It is extremely soft and smooth to the touch after a year of handling. It shows every crease, scratch, and divot in a handsome way. In my opinion, Galen Leather have the best zippers in stationery. I haven't found anything that operates as smoothly. Galen Leather Slim Covers are my favorite product from their collection. The way they feel is textured and extremely satisfying. I'm partial to Crazy Horse Brown and Crazy Horse Black, although I've been reaching for the undyed or nude leather version quite a lot. A5 notebooks are the perfect size for my writing style. I primarily use them as reading journals, morning pages, and commonplace books. Midori and the Traveler's Company that started me on this stationary journey. It all started with a regular size Traveler's Notebook just like this one. Honorable mention are these MD notebook covers in goat leather. I'm doing a little experiment and tanning one with the natural sunlight. I leave it sitting in a windowsill, and after two weeks, this is the result. I watched a video recently from Rajiv Sarindra articulating the saying, use your nicest things every day and enrich your life. So much has changed between recording the first frame of this video and placing the final clip on the timeline. Inky Rocks reminds us that don't squeeze all the fun out of what time we do have. Use your ink. Use your paper. Use your pen.